this is the LED which acutely takes an angle and comes up on the surface and this is where the muscle is the myocardium and there was a bridge here this much bridge so this bridge we have cut out and from here then this contracts so this becomes an acute angle that is how patient gets in there now hello everyone my name is mohammad waris i belong to district madhavad state of uttar pradesh i am suffering from myocardial bridge since 6 years last maine bahut se doctors se paramarsh kiya मेरी पांच बार एनजियोग्राफी कन्वेंशनल एनजियोग्राफी हो चुकी है और दो बार सिटी कोरोनरी एनजियोग्राफी हो चुकी है हर हर एक में मायोकार्डियल ब्रीजिंग आया मैं जिस डॉक्टर के पास भी जाता था हर डॉक्टर्स बीटा ब्लॉकर्स कैल्शियम चैनल ब्लॉकर्स पर मुझे एडवाइस करते थे लेकिन शुरू के वर्षों में तो मुझे सिम्टम्स इसके कम आए शोर्डनेस ऑफ ब्रेथ और चलने फिरने में तकलीफ सीने में दर्द ये शुरू के एक दो वर्ष में कम रहे लेकिन धीरे धीरे ये सिम्टम्स बढ़ते चले गए और मैंने इंटरनेट के जरिए और जानने वालों के जरिए इसके जान इसके बारे में जानकारी करनी शुरू की तो मुझे इसका इलाज सही से नहीं मिल पा रहा था इंटरनेट के जरिए डॉक्टर पवन कुमार सर के बारे में पता लगा जो लीलावती हॉस्पिटल में बहुत कई वर्षों से कई बार वर्षों से प्रैक्टिस कर रहे हैं उन, मैंने आकर उनसे संपर्क किया एडवाइस ली और अपने पूरी रिपोर्ट्स दिखाई उन्होंने कहा कि इसका इलाज केवल डी रूफिन ही है मैंने इनसे अपॉइंटमेंट लेकर अपना ओपन हार्ट सर्जरी करा लिया है जिसमें डॉक्टर साहब ने डी रूफिन कर दिया है अब मैं अपने आप को बहुत ही हल्का महसूस कर रहा हूँ और मेरे चेस्ट का पेन भी चला गया है अभी मायोकार्डल ब्रीजिंग के बारे में अभी अवेयरनेस की कमी है जिसके चलते मेरे जैसे बहुत लोग सिम्टम्स से परेशान हैं चेस्ट पेन शोर्डनेस और ब्रेथ थकान आदि की समस्याएं रहती हैं और उनको सही से इलाज नहीं मिल पाता है कि उन लोगों को सही से इलाज मिले मुझे लीलावती हॉस्पिटल का स्टाफ और डॉक्टर्स का व्यवहार बहुत अच्छा लगा और मिडिल क्लास फैमिली को इलाज कराने में यहाँ कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं है थैंक यू वेरी मच आई एम डॉक्टर पवन कुमार कंसल्टेंट कार्डियक सर्जन वर्किंग एट लीलावती हॉस्पिटल मुंबई इंडिया सिंस लास्ट ट्वेंटी फाइव ईयर्स दिस इज अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग केस विच आई वॉन्ट टू डिस्कस of uh, myocardial bridge coronary artery disease this is a congenital anomaly where coronary arteries get covered by myocardium the muscle goes over certain part of the coronary artery and when uh, muscle contracts the heart contracts in systole this uh, diameter of the artery coronary artery gets reduced so with each systole it gets reduced and with the diastole it gets expanded but during systole when uh, the lumen gets compromised uh, there is a problem that patient gets chest pain this abnormality is usually asymptomatic patients a large number of patients remain asymptomatic but in 2 to 6% cases diagnosed by coronary angiography uh, they do get some symptoms of angina they may get a uh, heart attacks they may get arrhythmias and they may fall into heart failures due, due to that these patients are treated medically by beta blockers or calcium channel blockers so that they dilate the lumen and blood flow gets uh, augmented but in some cases uh, not in all cases when medical management fails and patient continues to get angina then there is a option of surgery uh, heart surgery an uh, open heart surgery where we cut out this myocardial bridge or myot may be do or unroofing of the myocardial bridge is done with or without coronary artery bypass surgery many cases uh, atherosclerosis is also noted 
when the either uh, proximal to myocardial bridge or distal to myocardial bridge where the vessel gets takes an acute turn and that's where the the either blockage occurs or intima gets uh, disrupted so they do get uh, coronary artery uh, disease also in many cases in this case also i did uh, coronary artery bypass surgery along with the uh, by the uh, left atrial memory artery to left atrial descending artery in this patient mr mohammad waris had a myocardial bridge in mid third of left atrial descending artery coronary arteries and uh, that's where we diagnosed this uh, diagnosis was made in 2018 and repeated angiographies were done and he was put on medical management for last 4 years but despite having medical full medical management he continued to have angina last year uh, he had a minor heart attack in the same uh, area of left atrial descending artery so he again searched for the further options of treatment and that's how he came to us for uh, heart surgery for his myocardial bridge we did ct scan Uh, of coronary arteries and we showed clearly where exactly is the myocardial bridge where exactly is the length and the depth of the myocardial bridge and uh, after delineating everything we did a heart surgery on him and uh, he is now uh, totally relieved of his symptoms we cut out the myocardial bridge and put a lima on him uh, with the cvg into to left atrial descending artery so he is uh, doing very well i have done four such cases in last uh, 25 years uh, but last three cases where uh, a stent was deployed for this myocardial bridge and uh, although uh, it is not recommended but uh, it was done and uh, as the expected the stents got fractured this fracture occurs because of the constant uh, uh, contraction and the, and the relaxation of the heart muscle and so stents get do get fractured and then uh, the person gets back the, gets back to the symptom symptomatic state and that's how i did last uh, three cases where stents got fractured so i uh, did a, a cabg uh, in those cases but in this case this is the first time we did a myocardial bridge removal along with the cabg so this is the information which i want to pass on to thank you very much